What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King of the Rocks, and we are here today with some more Detroit Become Human. Man, you already know. Excuse me. Last episode was so, so, so freaking good, man. But I'm, I'm enough talking, man. We gonna hop right into this thing. The, we, 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 we gonna go. Let's go. Come on. All right. Oh yeah, we're meeting with Amanda. That's her name. I'm pretty sure. Where's she at? Yeah, find them. Is that her right there? Yep. Hello, Amanda. Hi. I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? <clears throat> it's a big umbrella. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Mm. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? <clears throat> oh, we're, we don't have a one of the things. Okay. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with R and I. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? I feel like that's pretty good. It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. to get my uh, thumbnail. I sound like that. Uh, finding a way inside. No more ringing the doorbell. I remember he does have a dog. As we learned in like a couple episodes back. Yep. I, as soon as I say that, he does have a dog. I'm just chilling. Being a good boy. Computer's on. Oh, he's unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson. <laughs> Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See, I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. <laughs> Get up. Oh my god. 
god. Go we'll have that whiskey. There's one bullet, bro. Bro, is he playing? Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Ooh, damn. It's me, Connor. <clears throat> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, <clears throat> but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Oh. Hey, get the fuck out of here! Oh no. Let's take him to the bathroom. Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. He was piss drunk, dude. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. Come on. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. I'm gonna turn on this cold water. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing here? Mm. A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional uh. who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Let's tease him a little bit. Just a little bit. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Okay. Okay, give me one sec. And we're back. Finding this man's clothes. Is it finding his clothes? Yeah. All right. Let's get back to this. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Streaky. <coughs> Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Learn more about him. I read that. Oh, it's half of that. Oof, 
lot of junk. Mmm. Mmm. Must be a sun. You look nice. <laughs> be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. That's it. Oh, okay. Uh, there was other stuff that I could I could have found too. Left for the club. Don't look like no club. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. What's she sound like? the choice Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me.
spot it. Oh, it doesn't stop. That's too far. Yeah. <laughs> That's too far. Um Good job, Marcus. Mm. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Awesome. I'm not gonna say nothing now. Wait a minute. I'm not talking about Larwell Ball. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring him back. It's too dangerous. Ooh. Uh. What, what's that? What's that? He comes with us. For now. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. 
They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Don't make me sure. Ah! <laughs> no. Ah! Uh, let's get the key, man. Come on. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. Is the key right there? So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. Yep. But he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Did you get it? Nice. I gotta drive. Oh my god. Hurry, get in. Whipping it. Got out. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We got bio components for everybody. 
We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. <laughs> That was a good episode. Dang, so it's like it's like two different things that could happen. All right, let's keep going. I want to get another part in, you know. So, cause this this the thing is too good, man. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Connor! The fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Just looking. Investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Mm. Good night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> Come on, man. I've, I've, I'm sure you've seen me do this a couple times. Diagnose. Critically damaged. Biocomponent and critically damaged also.
No signs of cardiac arrest. Heart attack, not the cause of death. So he has severe bruising. Six twenty four. The victim was shot. Yeah, because he had the bruises around his neck. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Didn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. Calm down. Everything's all right. Okay, we got all we want is to know what happened. Is he? Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> Dang. Hmm. So we know there's another person in there. So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. We got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Oh, 
shit. What the hell are you doing? There she is. Blue haired. Blue haired woman Tracy Man headed towards the end. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Oh, shit. Last position. It was here, so it saw... Okay, let's go to him. Hey, what? Let's try this one. This better be worth it. What is that dude doing? There she go. It turned back into the club. Okay. I see it. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? See which way she went, though. As far as I know, she's probably she probably okay. Okay, this person would know. Right here, twenty-seven. Come on, Patso. No, come on. He looked down. God dang it, bro. Come on. No. no. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> hey, you fuck. Why is this dude so close? see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. There you go. I turn into the blue room. Okay. Oh, come on. You didn't see anything. I made a mis mistake somewhere. She go. She hid in a room. Again. 
have fled into the staff door. Okay. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait. I'll take it from here. you kill her she had nothing to do with any of this when that man killed that Tracy I knew I was next around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. 
forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you... You've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. Oh my God. Dang. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Alright guys, we're gonna end it on there. If you liked the video, leave a like. Comment your favorite part. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. That was tough. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.